Hi, I'm Gavin Johnson Lynn, and welcome to DevSec Mastery, empowering software developers with skills, tips, and tutorials to master writing secure code. And here we're going to look at some ASP.NET Core with some security focused code. So in ASP.NET Core, it's very easy to set up accounts, users, and partly set up MFA or multi-factor authentication. So when we set up multi-factor authentication with ASP.NET Core, it gives us almost everything we need. The very last thing that it doesn't actually do is allow us to scan a QR code. So that's what we're gonna look at here. So we've got a default ASP.NET Core project. And what we're gonna do is paste in some packages. What those packages are gonna do are set up all sorts of things, entity framework, we're setting up identity, we're setting up entity framework tools. We've got lots of things in there that we just need to set up to make it easier for us to set up user accounts and the MFA. We're gonna give that a quick build, just make sure it builds. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use the code generator and we're gonna say, add lots and lots of things. So you can see in here, we've got account.register, account.login, account.logout. There are lots of things in there. I'm gonna make all this available in a GitHub repository, so I'll add a link to that, but you get the idea. There's lots of things going in there. Some of that is multi-factor authentication. We'll kick that off, we'll let it run. Give it a few seconds, it's building the project again and adding everything it needs. What we're gonna do next when that finishes is we're going to add some entity framework migrations. We let that run. And once that's finished, we're gonna set up a database. So we're using a SQLite database here just to make it easy. You can see that all looked like it worked. So that doesn't quite get us running. That doesn't quite give us users. So what I'm gonna do is just edit the shared layout file here. And just in here, I'm going to say use the partial for login. Save that. And the other thing I need to do is map razor pages. So a lot of the identity is using razor pages. So if I go into program.cs and just say map razor pages, that's going to make sure that the razor pages that we're running actually work. So I'm going to hit F5 and see if that worked. We'll give it a second starting up here and you can see that little bit I did at the end there adds the register and login links here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to register just as a some random user once I've got that done I'm going to log in as that user And at this point, we can access our account settings. So you can see we've got lots of things set up here. And one of them is two-factor authentication, also known as multi-factor authentication. In there, we can add an authenticator app. Now, the important part of setting up an authenticator app on your mobile phone, this is the, the app that's going to give you six-digit pins. The important part of that is this little code here that lets it set up. Now, what you normally get is a QR code. But in this instance, you haven't got a QR code. There is actually a little link that tells you information on how to do that. But we're going to skip that and we're just going to do it ourselves. So first thing to do is we need to generate a QR code image. So we've got a link here. We've got a GitHub repository that lets us do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the contents of that. Obviously, we need to do correct attribution. And we're going to go off and add that to our repository. So in our WW root, we've got JavaScript. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new file. And we're going to call that mfa.js. That wasn't right. Let's try harder. Yep, I'm sure. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to paste that JavaScript code in there. Now we also want another file. So if we add a new file and we're going to call that qrcode.js, we'll get it right that time. And in there, we're going to paste a little bit of code that uses the JavaScript from the GitHub repository. 
So what this is doing essentially is we're adding an onload event listener and it's going to use that existing ASP.NET Core page to say, go and get that QR code, that little string of numbers, and we're going to create an actual scannable QR code out of that. So a few other things we need to set up. The first is our enable authenticator page. So if we go into areas, identity pages account, and the page is called, oh, we want manage. Now we've got an enable authenticator page right there. And in the CSHTML, what we're looking for is we're going to add a couple of lines just to the end of this. Uh, just say, add those two scripts that we've used. And then next up, we want the C-sharp page behind that. And we're just going to give a little quick edit to the end here. Yeah, so this is the part that ends up in your multi-factor authentication app. So this is actually the name of the application. Now, you almost certainly don't want that. You want something like my web app or whatever your web app is called. So you'll see that come up in the authenticator when you actually scan it. We've also got a little bit of CH, uh, HTML in here. So there's a little bit that says learn how to set it up. We don't want that anymore. We've set it up. That's great. Now, if we give that a run, fingers crossed, we should have done enough to get our multi-factor authentication set up. So we're already logged in as that user. We can now set up an authenticator app. And we've got a, UR, a, a QR code right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mobile phone. I'm going to open up Google Authenticator. Obviously, you can use other authenticators here as well. I'm going to say scan a QR code. Scan that successfully. And if I look at that and put the number in, I get 396571. And I go and it's happy with that. So it's set up the authentication. So now if we come back and we log in again, and it's now asking us for the authenticator code. So again, I can go back to the app that hasn't actually changed yet. So I'll stick the same number in and it's let us log in. That's it. We're all set up with multi-factor authentication and it's all nice and usable as well. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and most importantly, don't forget to code securely.